let the no the real target notification YouTube be dropping. Gonna let them propagate. Let some folk get up in here. Yes, sir. Scotty, what's up, brother? Yo, the real target notification they be driving, man. It's a trip, ain't it, y'all? I've been on here like 41 seconds, man, but I'm glad to see all y'all in here. Let me start my shout outs, man. I can't can't forget because we can't do it without y'all. Scotty, PT, what's up? AZ Howling, once again, what's up, baby? STL, what's up, baby? Street Car TV, Midway High Shot, Max High Shot. Good evening to you, also, sir. Uh, what's going on, Mr. Come see me, bro. Man, we in here, man. Nothing just finna probably step out for a second in a hot second. Uh, Shoot, I actually got a load to pick up in the morning, y'all. You know, I be on the grind all the time and seeing something a little spicy. Saw something just a little taste spicy going to Texas out of my area. And I can pick it up and I can drive it off sometime Monday. Yeah, I can leave out Sunday, so that's cool. Yeah, that's a nice piece of chain. Okay. Slight update on the uh, company situation while we let some people get in here. Uh, slight update on the covenant situation. Dark Horse Durain. Shout out Dark Horse Durain over there in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, currently running Unit 101, the GOAT, with that uh, combo step. Yes, sir. Hey, man, we slid through on. Oh, yeah, we slid through on just a little bit. We ain't did much. We just put. You know, put something together. We finna go kick it for one of my sisters law birthday. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just a FYI, if you in the Mississippi area, you looking for real estate. One of the coldest real estate brokers in the country. Look, Google this. Not the fastest growing black real estate agency in the in the South, but the fastest growing real estate agent. See in the south called the agency. If you look for some top of the line real estate, I'm talking about very, 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 very nice terms out here in Mississippi with their property and stuff. Y'all might want to holler at Dewana Stanley. That 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 girl bad. That's my sister law, but we finna go over there. Holler at one of my other sister law for her birthday. And I said for I get out and get to pop my shit. I'm going to help some of y'all pop y'all shit in that truck and do a little Q&A. You know what I'm saying? I got a little something on, man. Smell like that one million. How about y'all know about that one million? That one million smell like panic coming off. Okay, I hope Gavin ain't on here. Y'all screw me. One million smell like panic coming off, y'all. The good kind. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, run to tell everybody. Oh, uh, let's see. AZ Holler said, let's get some good commercial pilot. Yeah, that one million year to. So, <clears throat> like I said, man, a little update on the company. What's going on? Dark Horse Rain over there pulling everything he could find and doing it at a good rate. Got the uh, train crowd combo. You know, y'all saw that. Uh, trailer review is coming soon. Uh, like I said, that's part of the purpose. Why, well, you know, I pinpoint the load to the point where if I won't go to text, I won't. I, I'm gonna do that. Then I gotta go check on something else. Y'all might have forgot about that happened a little while ago down in South Texas. I gotta go check on that and get y'all a little update up on that too. So. I got 20 years on the oh, wow. Hey, Denitra, what's going on with y'all, man? Just, just, just can't holler at y'all, man. I ain't seen y'all in a few days. I ain't really been doing nothing but just trying to get out a dollar. Y'all know me. And uh, big shout outs to all those out here chasing a dollar, man. Also, big shout out to Scotty. Uh, thumbs up, Scotty. Y'all, y'all do y'all thing, man. Y'all do y'all thing. Thumbs up, Scott. You and the missus. 
Y'all do y'all thing. Cut a little time, talk a little bit about something that happened to me the other day. Um, funny incident that rarely, if ever, I think should even ever happen to me mm. with the combo that I run. Y'all know I run that freight line, FLD120. That red now, all aluminum, big bubble trailer. Trailer rated for 100,000 pounds. <clears throat> Basically, when I go across the scale full of fuel, empty with no load on me, truck and trailer, I'm right at 30,000 pounds. A little bit of change, like 30,300 with, with all the everything gear. So basically, I could put 49,700 on there. You know, heaviest loads you pretty much will see getting ran out here without a permit is 48,000 pounds. So, you know, for me to be 49,700, almost 50,000 pounds, you know, that means your load considerably heavier than you said. And by my trailer being as light as it is, it's not just by a little bit, it's a lot. In the comments, can anybody guess what my gross vehicle weight was when I came through the scale house in Louisiana? And I was over. And I got the find in the mail today. I'm going to knock that out probably when I come back in tonight. Going to get online and pay that. But in the comment, I was carrying a load of crane mats. I'm going to give you a real good hint. It's normally 16 crane mats on your truck. They were running loads out of there on every truck with 18 on there. Can anybody, and, and for real though, the closest guess to my real weight that I was that day, get breakfast or lunch or whatever on the haven, drop your cash out. But y'all go in the comments and guess can you guess how much truck, trailer, load, everything combined? Can you guess how much I was when I go across the scale? And I'm going to tell you this. When I normally, I'm going to give you better here. When I normally run 48,000, I'm about 78,000 pounds. I'm 78,000 when they put the whole 48 on me. I told y'all I could run 50, but I don't tell them that. You know what I'm saying? But truck, trailer, load, somebody said 79. That was legal. I wasn't going to be over. I'm allowed to be 80,000 pounds, so that's not in the ballpark. OG, I stay solid. What's up, bro? James Shear, 80,300. Country boy, 80,659. Michael Will, I think he meant to say 82,000. Boy, said 81. Michael Wilson, is that 8,200 or 82,000? Scott said 85,000. Okay. 88. Uh... Oh, 82. 82. Okay, Michael Wilson, drop your drop your cash out, bro. I was eighty two thousand like three hundred pounds. Drop your cash out, Mike. Yeah, I was eighty two thousand three hundred pounds. <laughs> AC also, you got a 100k trailer, so you can haul it with the right permits and stuff. I can make something happen, but it really ain't enough axles under that trailer to do it legally. You have to have it to, to put a 100k on the deck, you would at least need a 20k front act, front steer axle, 20k steer axle, a drop axle on the rig. 
probably some 46k rears on the rig uh and probably four sets of axles on the trailer you'll be in some serious heavy haul 100k that's kind of getting up there to the point where you probably need a stinger or at least a flip where you can level some of that weight out because you're gonna have to have enough tires and brakes to stop all this stuff too but yeah uh two crane mats change the game that drastically yes sir two crane mats coming out of the mud man them things have been used they dried out but they dirty and they still pretty much waterlogged on the inside so yeah two crane mats weigh about five thousand pounds that's the math on that y'all if they had to put forty eight thousand on me i would have been about seventy eight thousand gross uh i end up Oh, God. Hold on. Wait a minute. I got to go back because I was 83, y'all. I went 82. I was 83. I got to go back and look. 81. Okay, Mike, you still won. Shit. Yeah, you still won, Mike. But yeah, I was 83, y'all. I was 83. Because when I did the math, I was like, man, that's 5K. And then when they actually, when I got to the scale house, this will let you know you got a problem. Every truck in America that go through the scale house, high side or whatever, when you hit the scale, they make you stop on the scale, they read your axles, they press the go back on the highway button, the sign lights up, you leave. Man, them folk got on the intercom and said, driver, pull for we got to split your tandems on your trailer. I said, oh, here we go. That's how it started, Lord. Lord, that's how I get this how it started. I get going right there. <laughs> nah, I wasn't scared like that, but at the same time, you get a feeling, you be like, oh, no, nah. he don't want to split the acid jet for the fun. Uh. He don't want to just do that because that extra work. We about to make me pull up. He got to press the button one more time. Ain't no way he trying to just split the acid because they're fun. He want to split the acid because they over, and he trying to see which one over and how many he going to charge me for. Oh Lord, he says split them, y'all. He says split the axles, split the axles. Why you want to split them? They all ready together. Why you want to split them? Huh? Yeah, they split the axles. I said, oh, here we go. God damn, here we go. Pull on round the back drive. I said, Oh Lord, there it go again, Lord. It takes out for a long I feel like I ain't got no CDL no more, Lord. <laughs> for real <laughs> yeah pull it on four let me split the max i saw boy the idiot have you ever <laughs> have you ever peed in the shower no sir i don't do no shit like that man <laughs> have you ever peed in the shower no have a nice shower dude <laughs> it's a nice shower. It's jacuzzi tubs and shit. I ain't no Lord. <laughs> jacuzzi tubs, and nice shower and shit. <laughs> the baby say he be in the sink too. You the you the real baby, ain't it? You the baby for real, ain't it? You just outlaw with your shit. My boy, my homeboy say he in the sink too. And what all restaurants you done worked in in the past, sir? <laughs> Man, we gonna clown out a little bit here tonight, man. If they don't hear him come give me, cause I don't drink or do none of that. The baby said he peed him on the ear in there. All right, so we just got real grimy, y'all. We gonna go back over here to the right side. But okay, so I pull up. He split the axles. So I'm like, ah. So I grab my little binder, got all my stuff. I'm finna, you know, walk over there and go in. So he like, oh, you need a mask. So I gotta walk back to the truck, get the mask. Come up in there. He's like, man, okay. He was like, uh, you're over. I was like, to myself, I was like, yeah, newsflash, I'm, I'm over. I, since that when you was like, driver, come inside. And there ain't nobody else had to come inside. So he break it down to me. And then I'll tell y'all what I did too, you know. The load pay a certain amount. I divided what the load supposed to weigh by the amount of pieces that's supposed to been on there and calculated the amount that each piece pays out of what was getting paid. Charged them for two more pieces to find my time, couple more things, and uh, 
I think Monday I'll be sending that invoice to the actual broker because when that went down, the next day I had another load to pull of 18 Kramers. Y'all think I'm going to do that again? No, 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 no. Kyle, what everybody else pulling, I don't care what everybody else doing. Everybody else don't own their company. There's a whole lot of people own a company. Don't care what they pull as long as it get pulled. And y'all can run all, y'all can run all loads y'all want to run up out of there just like that. And a lot of them loads ain't going across the state line. So you cheating, but at the same time, you ain't getting caught. So it ain't cheating if you ain't get caught. But look at this paperwork said, I just got caught. Mm-hmm. Not doing it again like that. And, you know, at the same time, I still got to run the load. They put 16 on there. They altered all the paperwork to say 16. I had verification of my empty weight before I picked up my core because they weighed me coming in to pick up the core. I take the core to Shreveport. Then I run across the line, test it, grab the crane mats, bring them back to Mississippi, set up for the call again the next morning. So I know what I weigh empty before I started the day, and I'd have burned a lot of fuel again from Mississippi to the other side of almost Texas. Then going to Texas to get it, ain't fueled up again, so I know I'm even lighter than I was then. So yeah, yeah, y'all put an exaggerated amount of weight on me. You know what I'm saying? A real exaggerated amount of weight. And on a lot of other trailers. And I'm looking at other trailers that's sitting up there getting loaded that ain't light as me. These folks got big body Peterbilt's and combo trailers. Some trailers all steel. So you know one thing. If I'm 82 and I'm pulling up in the morning at 30,000, they pull it up in the morning at 34,000. If I'm 82, that means they almost 87. That's a long way past 80, man. They ain't going to have no leniency about 87, 88, 90 and all that stuff without your permits or your tag being set up like that, for real. Is it possible to start out with a 25-foot train on CDL? Hustle your way to a 30, 35-foot. Uh, the brother that asked that, buy the best thing, the longest trailer, whatever you can get from the door. Try not to sacrifice that because that's a that's a sacrifice that you pay for daily while you fighting to get something else that, as we can see, have become astronomically high in the last few weeks, months. You know what I'm saying? To the point where if you can afford to come out right, like I always say, buy the real shit. If it ain't way possible, sometimes you got to slow down and speed up, bro. To the point where you know you just got to, sometimes you got to wait, stack up the money to get the right stuff so you don't pay the penalty for buying the wrong stuff every day in the pursuit of buying the right stuff you could have bought in the beginning. We're going to have a whole lot of sense in this trucking game. Sure is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what we're going to do. We're gonna make some solid move. We're gonna be we gonna be real, real deliberate and calculated about what we do. We gonna do what best for you at that time, at that moment to make it do what it need to do. We not building on a future that is uncertain and you don't know what the outcome to be to get to the next step in a future that you don't know what the outcome gonna be. You feel me? Put your faith in the Lord. We put our faith in the hot shot shit. Not like that. Not like that. You buy the best stuff you can buy. And you hope for the best. And you do the best you can do. But you don't come out knowing you can do better. If you just wait a couple more months. And don't do better. Then you come out here and run that trailer. And miss loads. That you could have stacked partial with. For five, six more feet of trailer. For a year trying to get along with trailer. That's redundant. We ain't doing nothing over again. Nope. Buy the real shit. First time. If you tell the real shit up, you know you're overworking it. So just repair it and keep buying real shit. So, you know, buy real shit, bro. And that go for your tie game, all that on your semi, on your high shot, on all that. I ain't buying no recaps. We're not buying no used tires unless they day coated and they are really, really, really good condition. You know, I have ran up on deals and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, that's the only thing touching the road, depending on how much weight you carry. Yeah, it really don't matter how much weight you carry. Just be mindful about it. You know what I'm saying? Buy the real stuff, y'all. Tools and all. If you get some stuff, man, you got to put your weight down on that wrench for real. Buy a wrench that don't slip. Buy a real wrench, y'all. Fish price, I'll make this stuff. 
for real fish probably do not make this stuff yeah i'm sticking with me up in here what we got is it hard to get loads at the beginning with a new lc my usd with the new with a new lc my usd lt had three more months have more than three months active uh yeah it's the same struggle when you crank up a uh, mc number um having a dot number prior doesn't always mean really anything when it comes down to get your own authority i appreciate that and yeah it's a nice trailer man dark horse rain kicking butt out there with it too man um man what was i saying Oh, about the okay, the DLT number. I'm I'm gonna share y'all share with y'all an interesting fact. And if you ride the highways a lot, you'll eventually see this once I say it. If you're from Texas, you already see it every day, cause Texas real money home. But a U.S. DLT number, a U.S. dot number, is to actually do intrastate commerce inside your own state you back and forth door short house back and forth you know what i'm saying so when you go interstate and you cross the state lines and you under federal jurisdiction now now you completely under federal jurisdiction you're new to that system and like in places like texas you have you ever noticed and y'all thumbs up there's a high let me the comments about it that if you look at some trucks, high shots, 18 wheelers or whatever from Texas, they got uh, a US DOT number, a Texas DOT number, and an MC number. Kind of like a KYU number, but you see that a lot of times. And then sometimes that'll be from prior arraignment that's already been had where they was running a, a, a Texas DOT number, then they got the US DOT number with the MC when they filed it all together and made that they'll be uh 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 you know a part of that entity but you'll see that a lot of times you like where they get all them number from <laughs> I know Mississippi don't make you do that so I don't worry about where they get all them number from I know every last number on the side of that truck costs something you know? I'm like, if you argue with them about where they got that number from let them keep getting it from over there but yeah you'll notice that you know yeah Texas ooh, ooh money hungry man I ran permits on that semi for like two and a half months and Texas, boy, when you come in Texas, you got to have a permit. When you leave Texas, you already got to have a permit for the next state. You finna cross over Louisiana, Oklahoma, wherever. You got to have a permit for that state. And then when you come back in Texas, even if your exit permit still good and ain't expired, you need a re-entry permit to get back in Texas. And you got to specify what highway you coming in on and everything and don't deviate. Boy, I ain't lying. Almost like New Mexico, they count the miles and everything. They're going to ask you what route you want or give you one, whichever one you want. They're going to tax you out. They're going to figure you up right then and there. And you can't swipe right then and there because you need to be able to swipe right then and there because you ain't finna go nowhere if you ain't swipe right then and there. Shout out J.J. Keller for getting them permit for me every time, on time in order and dark horse the rain for all that leg work he did over there in texas instead of going to the permit office because they were letting them buy the permits online then they come back online and say you can't buy them online no more you gotta come over there and buy them i was buying 30 days worth at a time because he ain't have time to still be running back over there every week for a permit uh, a temporary tag that's crazy all right let's see what else we got for the battery down their phone? Yeah, New Mexico tax is retarded. They they want it. They ain't gonna let you come in the state till they clear that up. You you you, you stop it. They pour the entry and ain't got the money, or you ain't in the book. You already ain't got one. They need it right then. Last time I came through New Mexico in the semi, 
Call me 97 now. Just a L Y I don't know, folk with the pocket change out there on the road. Had you a band. Cause it go fair. Had you a band on you just on pocket change. You might want to have you a band. For real, that's that traveling money. You might need to have you a band. They call that traveling money for real because you a pop up there. <clears throat> And just to show it the car machine ain't working, they can't get that money. They might let you go. More likely, they were like, well, we got to get the car machine working or you got to pay cash. Cash? Let's get it. All right, we say, interstate, interstate running local is better than Florida. This toll, these tolls, it's a big bill. Can't wait to move out of Miami. My mood, K to test. I love what you do, man. Thanks. Hey, Armando, appreciate you, bro. Um, yeah, Florida's a tough state in general, uh, for trucking. It ain't really just high shine. They ain't talking about the loads and nothing like that. It's a tough state on enforcement. It's a tough state with tolls. That sun pass, I'm very familiar with that sun pass. Uh, it can get you some places faster, but I just put no tolls in on my on my uh, GPS, route myself accordingly, tell the broker I'm gonna be there when I'm gonna be there, and let that be that. But I ain't, I ain't, I'm not, I'm not. I have bought my way out of Miami before, and it cost me about a hundred and sixteen dollars. Because I messed up and I made a wrong turn and had to go back through the same toll road two times. Ugh, it hurt. Yeah. Ugh, hurt my soul. Tolls in the Northeast. Yeah, I put, I just turned my toes off. Avoid tolls, avoid all tolls, avoid all tolls. How much more is your semi insurance versus when you had high shot? I still got high shot AZ Holland and the semi is um really per capita what you doing is cheaper. I pay a penalty on my semi and my high shots on a policy basis just simply because I have CDL and uh, CDL equipment, high shot. And get what? It ain't just because it's CDL, non-CDL equipment. It's just simply because they're not all semis. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, a CDL high shot pays the insurance rate of a non-CDL high shot. A semi is a whole nother bracket. And uh, simply because most insurance companies do not write hybrid policies, i.e. policies with both of those on there at the same time, when you find somebody that will write it, it's going to be a premium. That's why I pay what I pay. What it was, 56, 56, 34, 82? Yeah, they got it. It's, they do on the 23rd, but they got all their money right now. No progress from nothing. No, and we finna go and get Nick money out the way next week. It's the it's just the it's the rotation, it's the flipping going on. It's it's trucking like you're trapping. For real. Late night with the hay fan. We late night with the rolling with the homie. Rolling with the homie. <laughs> How often you have conversation every single day, PT, dollar sign, J B U T L E R three five seven. Hit me up on Cash App, put your number in the four line, turn off your spam blockers, and when you see the thumbs up, that'll be me coming through. Carter, three thumbs up. Carter, Carter, I think, yeah, Carter, we talk. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Babe, call your Uber. Okay, we finished it. They say, baby, call your Uber. My wife just dropped in there and said, baby, call your Uber. See, I'm the six on last night, y'all. It's six on last night. Yeah. Oh, I ain't going to do right. I ain't going to do right. I ain't going to do right. Ain't no more country boy get that Bluetooth out of my head. But, hey, I appreciate y'all kicking it with me. Uh, Late night with the Haven. Next time, we're going to have a big old cigar, sit on the couch. Had a camera sitting over there and do some letterman type shit. JB this class of 120 waiting walking waiting like double duck. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Hey, man, yeah, I'm going to holler at y'all, man. I'm going to get up out of here, man. Y'all be blessed, man. Like I said, keep that thing between the man that is and must, boy. Keep that shiny side up, grease side down. Yeah, I already know what I said about a halo. And then, man, because they what? Get what? They mad because they can't do what you do. See, it ain't. It ain't. Get what? Lead it with. Ain't always what you do it how you do it. But, get what? Some folk mad simply because it's you. Remember that. Remember that. Because it's a mofo who do the same stuff you do all day long. Ain't no problem. But when you do it, it's a problem. It ain't what you're doing. It ain't even how you do it. It's simply because it's you. Remember that.